got you. Back to send. I got you. Uh, just looking at all these roller balls here, it looks like there's just enough for them to get rolling, pick up momentum, and then train the wet snow. It's uh, it's still like 30 centimeters of isothermal wet spring snow down to the ground at mid-elevations. Like no old snow from October, wet all the way down. <laughs> Depth maybe 80 centimeters with the surface crust that's just forming now and overnight with moist snow and then about 20 centimeters down we transition back into drier snow. But it still goes down to the ground. There's no old October ice correct. crust. Correct. And All we're... snow from November. So we're up in the Swan Range. As you saw at low mid elevations, our snowpack is still sparse and is isothermic. Uh, we saw D1 to D2 size avalanches that occurred yesterday from warming temperatures. We're currently at our upper elevation and at our upper elevation, we have a thin melt freeze crust that is currently being formed. Uh, we're expecting this to be widespread by tomorrow with cooling temperatures. Below that we have um, a, a stable snowpack. We have uh, a lot of rounding grains. Uh, and at the bottom of this, we have a melt freeze crust that occurred. This is our October snow that we've been finding in the Flathead Range. So right now we're looking at a stable snowpack uh, with more wind and snow on the way. Uh, we'll be predominantly in this range looking for surface snow instabilities, but that will be yet to come to see how those storms roll in.